What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. 13-14 Panini Titanium Basketball Hobby. Eight box inner case break. Random teams number one just sold out. And chase some Giannis rookie autos. Kobe's plus more. All card ship, all teams in. Two autographs, three memorabilia cards per box. So, again, guys, we had to do two fillers. Donner's pack filler number three and four. Everybody else got in spots straight up. So, good luck. Let's roll it. And we got ourselves a... Five and a one, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, are you really, Andrew? That's awesome, man. Give me a, give me a neat autograph. <laughs> Taylor with uh, down to Chris. I have a couple of their uh, shirts that I bought from their brand. Six one or five one six six times here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Detroit Pistons, Houston Rockets. You know what I was noticing is, um, are they starting to allow to put, uh? Advertisement on the sh on the shorts again, or is it because MMA, or is it because UFC sponsored with like Monster and these other brands? So now they're putting them on the shorts because I mean it's slowly gonna get back to normal again, right? <laughs> I mean, I remember back in the day you can do all the sponsorships, but now it's strictly you know whatever it was Reebok, whatever. Uh, Taylor with the Pistons, Roy with the Charlotte Hornets, uh, Ryan you have the Bucks, uh. Sarah with the Pacers, Anthony with the Bulls, Andrew with the Grizzlies, Chris with the Celtics, Coden with the 76ers, Andrew with the Lakers and Blazers. Let's get some Kobe's. Uh, David with the Mavericks, Andrew with the T-Wolves, Gretchen with the Warriors, uh, Andrew with the Heat, Gretchen with the Jazz, Nick Kobe with the Magic, Andrew with the Suns, Chris with the Wizards, Tom with the Kings, Sam with the Raptors, Rosario with the Pelicans, Roy with the Cavs, Russell with the Knicks, Aaron with the Hawks, Andrew with the Clippers, Josh with the Nuggets. Michael with the Nets, Gretchen with the Spurs, Joshua with the Thunder, and Chris with the Houston Rockets. Well, I, we, but you know what I mean, though, right? Because I remember before when it was just strictly Reebok or whatever their brand was, it was like nothing but Reebok, right? But then I noticed yesterday on some fighters they had like Monster and they had that, so maybe just their, the bigger sponsors that they already have affiliated with, they can put them on their shorts now with, uh, you know, the main, the main brand that supplies the, the clothing is what I was trying to say. Alright guys, anybody want to trade? I, I kind of liked it when they had all these crazy sponsorships. It was cool. On all the shirts and shorts. If anybody wants to trade... Gotcha. Yeah, well, that's the one thing, man. I mean, I love I love the UFC and like MMA and stuff like that. But man, UFC just they're just sucking all the money. <laughs> I mean, obviously some of the bigger fighters get paid well, but compared to like let's say what Mayweather and those boxers like Canelo get paid like per fight, it's just it's pretty wild. You know, some of these guys probably still only get paid under like a hundred thousand dollars per fight, probably. If I'm wrong, that's great money. But I mean, especially if you're like a you know, a great entertainer and stuff like that. I mean, man, some of these guys in boxing are making a hundred million on one fight. But you know, that's also the reason why if they have brands outside the UFC, you know, uh, usually like to support their brands more than anything. No, I know. I mean, I'm sure some of the bigger names only get like a mil, if anything, right? You know, maybe a couple mil. If they also get pay-per-view, like, money. But it's just pretty wild. That's what I'm saying. UFC just making so much money. It's, it's crazy. And before, I mean, when it was all, like, underground, right? They weren't getting paid anything. All right, Russell's saying trading next if anybody wants. Is that right? That's crazy.
That's what I'm assuming when Connor went over to cross over to fight Mayweather. It's it's probably all he needed to do to just for the rest of his life. With all the money he probably made. And he probably only made a fraction of what Mayweather made, but still. More than enough. Alright guys, well it looks like this is a full case right here. So let me try to like open this on the side. I don't know if I'll have the full room to do it on the table because it's pretty big. Well, his whiskey for sure. I mean, I'm sure he makes a lot of money doing that. His like, his Jameson competitor, the competitor to Jameson and stuff like that. But um, I'm talking about just straight up UFC for sure. I mean, yeah, when you have sponsorships like that, or like you know, that are not part of you know the UFC and stuff like that. Yeah, it was like I remember before when I was like into more shoes, I used to like getting Kevin Durant's. I remember his shoe deal with Nike was like 300 mil for like 10 years. It's like, dude. This guy's gonna make 30 million on just sponsorship and shoes, you know, and and like he's not that that's not even playing basketball. It's just guaranteed already. It's wild. Really? All right. So one, two, three for the left. Four, five, six for the right. Two, one, two, three. So this will be for the next one, guys. So basically, it's not really his brand anymore. He's just the he's just the face now again, or just they use him as the face. People that actually own his whiskey brand now. But I meant to say like the the fighting aspect, like now him fighting one time with Mayweather. It's probably the most he's ever gonna make fighting, like in the UFC, which maybe just potentially one. One fight if you got paid paid pretty well. All right, so this is an eight box inner. There's eight boxes. Yeah, but it's pretty amazing, man. It's, it's wild. If you're an entertainer, you 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 win. You will get paid. So those commercials that I keep on hearing of you know, that they'll donate money, they're just they're not even paying them to do that. Drop bar number 12, I think it's called, right? All right. All right, and it's Cantor. The Admiral, out of 50, 10 out of 50 for the Spurs. D. Rose, that is a relic out of 279. Double coverage or double-double maybe? Yeah, double-double. Carl Malone, now that is a relic. For the Utah Jazz, Marshawn Brooks is your first autograph, New Wave. Byron Mullins, that's an on card to two ninety nine for the uh, Clippers. That's going to Andrew and the Celtics. That's going to Chris Bright. And we got Josh Smith strength. Andre Iguodala, ooh, nice patch, little AI, one out of five. That's pretty nice. And that looks like a Denver, Denver patch right there. I forget he was with Denver for a little bit. Jeremy Lin. Man, do you remember the Jeremy Lin? Mania? There you go. All 
All right, so that nice Eagle Dollar out of five, that's gonna go to Gretchen with the Golden State Warriors. And a buddy of mine back when Jeremy Lin was just crazy with the Knicks and we sold some great cards <laughs> at the time for some great prices Kurt Rambus autograph that's on card metallic marks the 299 for the Lakers going to Andrew I'm trying to get you that Kobe though gotta get you that Kobe Joe DeMars the 299 for the Detroit Pistons Gary the Glove Payton 10 out of 49. And Al Horford, Jeff Teague, both for Atlanta. That's out of uh, 125. Jamal Crawford. What a relic. To 299. Rudy Gobert. Very nice. That is a rookie, Rudy Gobert. Utah Jazz. That's going to Gretchen. Not numbered, but still a rookie, Rudy Gobert. I think he was a rookie in 13 14, actually. All right, next box. So we can run this back, too, guys. I'll, I'll post up another one of these. Kim Noah, Evan Turner, and Eddie Jones on card for the Lakers to 149. Eddie Jones. Tenth overall pick of 1994 draft. Blake Griffin to 99. Demir Carroll. That is a new wave autograph for Atlanta. Joe Kim Noah relic to 279. Blake Griffin at 32. 27 out of 32. DeAndre Jordan elements relic for the Clippers. Ty Lawson relic. Denver Nuggets going to Josh. All right, next one. Nikola uh, Pekovic, Pekovic, new wave that is for the Minnesota T Wolves going to Andrew Lasba Mojo, Henry Sims as an autograph for Cleveland, Roy with that one, Blake Griffin relic. D. Lil to 199 Titans and Ray Allen relic. Carmelo Anthony. 
Knicks, Tony Parker. All right, halfway through, guys. Hopefully, we start heating up, getting some nice stuff. Like I said, we do have another inner case. So we can always repost up the next one. one. I was thinking Giannis for a second. I forget he's a rookie in this. D Brown. On card. Reserve signatures for the Celtics. That's going to Chris Bright. No. Oh my god. I thought that was an autograph. Oh my god. That scared me. 6 out of 22 Kobe Bryant. I hate when the cards are flipped backwards. They get me every time. Well, that's still a nice little short print number right there for you, Andrew. This actually won't fit in this. Oh. That almost gave me a little heart attack. Joe Johnson. Darren or Deron Williams, Jason Terry. Danilo Gallinari, relic. Little teammates. We got Ricky Lido. What up, 52? How's it going, Donnie? You know, actually, I, I got I got two days off this weekend. It's Friday and Saturday. There wasn't any crazy releases on Friday this week, so... So, uh, I was able to enjoy two days off. Kawhi Leonard autograph to 249. Look at that. To be like a second year. Kawhi. Spurs, that is going to Gretchen. Nice little Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs. Miami's next weekend, Donnie. Next weekend, actually. Robbie Hummel. The, the card show is not until uh, Saturday, Sunday next week. Another Kobe numbered card to 199. Elements, Bismack Biombo. Norris Cole. And Rajon Rondo. 249. <laughs> you know, that's what I was wondering, Donnie. I thought you were, I thought when you told me that, I thought you were just saying for like next week. I was like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> but it's okay. No worries, man. Yeah, no, uh, we, I think we fly out Friday, Friday morning, 
Uh, I think we have some time to set up Friday afternoon and then I think the show Saturday, Sunday. Probably do some special like IG hit packs at the show and we'll stream live on Instagram. You know, we'll buy, sell, and then I think we fly back Monday. So I won't be on here on YouTube next weekend, Sunday, Monday. Isaiah Cannon, or Canna. It's number to 34. Fustus for the Golden State Warriors. Fundamentals, Shane Battier. Deron Williams. Grant Hill to 94. Ooh, do we have a Bradley Beal autograph? Wow, nice. Bradley Beal. Washington Wizards, Chris Bright. Mm. A lot of Blake Griffin, man. A lot of Blake Griffin in this one. LeBron. Mike Conley. And Paul Pierce. All righty, last box, guys. Good luck. Oscar Robinson is 60. Remember, Cincinnati Royals be going to the Sacramento Kings. Joe Kim Noah, Derek Rose, dual relics. Uh, we got Jan. Vasily. Or Vesley. Luster. Chris Paul for the Clippers. Anthony Davis? Yes, autograph Anthony Davis. There we go. That is going to go to the Pelicans. New Orleans Pelicans, that is Rosario. Little AD. LeBron base again. Can't go wrong with LeBron. Heat edition going to Andrew. Al Farouk Aminu. To 198 for the Pelicans. And Giannis. Wow, we got a Giannis relic. That's awesome. The two ninety nine for the Bucks. Ryan with that one. It's a nice little way to end it off. And a little Kobe base. So, guys, no Giannis autographs. Rookie autographs on this side. No Kobe on this side. Although we did get a nice numbered card. Uh, but a lot of hits, guys. A lot of nice autographs. Uh, including some of the bigger ones here. Like I said, Giannis Relic, Anthony Davis, Bradley Beal, little Kawhi, Kobe numbered card, Rudy Gobert, Eagle Dollar to five. Some nice stuff, guys, going back all the way to 13, 14 Titanium. Um, I'm going to post up another one because the second half could potentially have a Giannis rookie autograph, could have potentially maybe a Kobe live autograph, and a lot of other great players in there as well, guys. So appreciate it. This is break number one. Number two is going to get posted up soon.